Hello wonderful person and welcome to a review of a really awesome free app called Stellarium. Now I should have done this a long time ago, I don't really know why I never really considered this app to be a really enjoyable sort of space enthusiast experience, but I think it's because it's never really been released officially, it's still in sort of an early alpha I think. The actual version here if you look at it is something like point, uh, I don't even see if it's written anywhere, but it's like point one five or something. Anyway, so what exactly is this and why is this app worth your attention? Well, let's find out. Welcome to What The Math, enjoy this video and if you still haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button right now. And so essentially Stellarium is something that I absolutely must have in a country like South Korea that is polluted with the light. Now it says here on the bottom that this is Seoul. Um, if this was really solid, this would be too bright, I would not be able to see anything, not even some of the more brighter stars, um, including uh, planets like uh, Jupiter, Saturn and Mercury, I would not even be able to see those. But uh, for me, this is actually awesome because it allows me to essentially look at those stars, specifically where they actually are, uh, get all of their information. And if you live in a, in a country that is already dark, you can use this app in conjunction with your telescope to essentially find the location of the star that you want to look at. Like, for example, let's say you want to look at Ceres. It's a dwarf planet. It's very, very hard to see. But if you have a powerful enough telescope, you can maybe see it. So here we're going to switch to telescope mode, which I believe is this one of these buttons right here. This is actually, this will track the series. And here you can choose the type of telescope that you have. There's actually some models here. And I believe you can download more as well um, and install them just to kind of see what this would look like with your, with your own telescope. But the coolest part is this. You can actually keep zooming in even more. You can be basically become a Hubble telescope and see what this object actually looks like. This is really, really awesome. Not only that, but you can actually see how fast this object also moves. If you uh, zoom into it, you can actually see it move across the sky. This is really, really, really impressive. All of these objects are very realistically represented. Um, their location, their information, their... Um, things like, for example, uh, orbital period and relative distance to the sun, um, their orbital parameters, and so on and so forth. But the coolest part about this is that, is that it also tells you about um, various events. Like, for example, if you look around here, you'll actually notice that at some point it will show you... Oops, wrong button. It will actually start showing you things like um, this right here, which is, of course, the... Um, the meteor showers that will happen sometime in September. So this is actually telling me that between September 4th to 14th, from this direction, there's going to be a per se the, um, a meteor shower that you might be able to see. But of course, not from my location. In my location, I'm not going to be able to see anything. But this will kind of simulate it in some sense and must possibly even show you some of the uh, meteors potentially. I haven't really uh, lived through a, a per se shower just yet because it's still a few days away. But uh, I'm going to use this app and see what it looks like when it actually um, does start. But uh, obviously, this is not that this uh, this is not everything that this app has to offer. Um, it is very realistic. It, it is very sort of educational in, in, in um, some way. But um, my favorite part is that so okay for every star here, not only do you get actual parameters. As you zoom into it, you'll actually see more stars that you can click on that you might have not seen before. And um, I haven't really seen any galaxies, but I believe there might even be galaxies that are visible. I just haven't really seen any yet. Um, you can also select uh, this tool, which I believe allows you to do what? This is just a very, very wide zoom. I believe this is actually... Oh, I forgot what this is called. I don't know what this is called, actually. Um, these two buttons are basically, they're showing you uh, what uh, it would look like through a telescope lens. Um, and this right here tracks the star, so you can easily zoom into it, because it will actually track the motion of that star. In this case, it's Vega. Um, and the last button here is the options that allow you to basically uh, modify various telescopes that you can use, uh, modify various lenses, um, change your sensors. Like, for example, right now it's set to 450D, which I believe is 
I think it's Canon Rebel, uh, digital Rebel camera, but I'm not entirely sure if this is what this model is, but I think that's what it is. And of course, there's different telescopes you can choose from with different uh, focal length and different zoom level. Uh, this is just to kind of give you a realistic idea of what it look, would look like if you looked um, at certain some of these objects through your actual telescope. Uh, but the best part, of course, is that it allows you to zoom in much further and see uh, what these objects look like in reality. Like, for example, let's take a look at Uranus. Let's um, focus on Uranus. Ooh, wrong button. Focus on Uranus and zoom into it. I totally did not select Uranus. Here we go select Uranus and zoom into it and you can kind of see there is um, not only do we actually see its moons but we even see the rings around the Uranus which is absolutely amazing this is how powerful this tool actually is um, my favorite part about this is that if I actually lived in a dark enough country I would totally always bring my laptop and just use this in conjunction with the actual telescope and then compare the pictures because all of this is very 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 realistic and here's a uh, Pleiades with all of the uh, sister stars visible to us and you can actually click on them individually and focus on them by clicking this button and then zoom in and see what it actually looks like. Okay, this one is actually disappearing for some reason. But anyway, so that's essentially the natural of this app. And what was this? Oh, that's another star. And uh, there's also more features right here on the bottom, including things like um, you can actually disable the ground if you don't like the realistic look you can actually completely disable it and look at the stars um, below you as well like all of these stars that are on the other side of the planet are now visible to us as well um, you can then also uh ooh, what happened that's the ground you can also disable atmosphere so if you don't want to see atmosphere and if you actually want to see what it looks like without atmosphere so basically what hubble telescope would see uh, it, you can do that as well and this will allow you to see some of these really beautiful nebula in a little bit more detail. However, unfortunately, if you zoom into them, it doesn't really look as pretty as it does in Space Engine. This button right here toggles meteor showers, which basically reminds you of where meteor showers will actually be coming from. Um, and one of the cooler buttons right here is actually, I think this, yeah, there we go, show exoplanets. So you can actually possibly even see some of the exoplanets that we have discovered by zooming into them uh, I guess zooming into the stars and then just looking at the location where these exoplanets might be. All right, so this one was kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can maybe see something a little bit different. So, okay, let's take a oh, Where is, um, I wonder if they already have Proxima Centauri. If Proxima Centauri is also available here. And unfortunately, I can't really find it. I don't really know exactly where Alpha Centauri is right now. But this right here, this is what... Um, Kepler telescope discovered. This is essentially what the Kepler lens looks like. This is the shape of Kepler lens. And this is why we have so many, so many different Kepler exoplanets in this particular region. We have explored this region quite a lot and we've found quite a lot of different exoplanets in there. Uh, but just for fun, let's actually click on something else. Let's click on another one. Maybe something that's more familiar to us. Like, for example, WASP-68. Uh, let's zoom into it and see if we can maybe see the actual exoplanet. And unfortunately we can't, it's a little bit too far. So obviously you can't really visually see it um, because it is more difficult than seeing just an actual star. And since this is actually a simulation and not a representation of reality, you can always just accelerate time as well if you actually want to advance time a little bit just to see what your sky will look like. Oh, here, what was that? What is that? Oh, this is cool, I've never seen that before. Oh, that is awesome. Is that a satellite? Is that a satellite? Let's let's find out. Let's zoom into it. Let's find out what this is. Artificial satellite. That's awesome. So there's also artificial satellites, which I totally did not know about. And that is really cool. So I guess somewhere out there is also International Space Station. So if you look around for it, you might be able to see it as well. Uh, but yeah, so there's a lot of really cool features. Uh, it's definitely an app that's worth having because it is absolutely free. It's um, very powerful. It has a very, very large catalog. It's constantly updated. And for anyone who enjoys uh, stargazing or who wants to learn more about stars or just basically wants to kind of uh, explore all of this from the comfort of your home or if you're like me, live in a very bright country, this might be actually something to get. I'm posting the link for this app below and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this with your friends and I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me later and as always, bye bye. And let's actually disable the ground and see if we can find something really cool 
underneath us. Let's actually take a look at Venus. Let's see what Venus looks like. Because I am kind of... Oh, I'm not looking at Venus anymore. There we go. I'm kind of curious what Venus looks like in here. Oh, look at that. Look how beautiful and realistic this looks. So this is Venus. You can imagine Mars will actually look very, very realistic as well if I were to actually zoom into it. And here is what Mars looks like with its two beautiful moons, Deimos and Phobos, which is, I think, right in front of there. Look at that. It's right in front of Mars. And you can actually see it move across the Martian surface. This is absolutely beautiful. And lastly, let's actually take a look at Jupiter before we end this video. And there is beautiful Jupiter where it is four Galilean moons. And if you zoom in, you'll even see more moons in front of it. And there is actually Ganymede right in front of it, casting a shadow on, on the surface. So this is super, super realistic. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to show you. See you later, guys. Game leader. Bye-bye.